For the past couple of years I've been doing a lot of leatherworking projects such as knife sheaths, leather wallets and stuff like that. I wanted a nice awl, so I made one. The first thing I did was cut some of this billet I had into a section I could forge. I started off using a hacksaw, but the Damascus is too hard for the blades I had so I just used an angle grinder. I took several heats and forged in the rough profile that I wanted, the rest I'd do with grinding. Once I'd finished forging the rough profile in, I then quenched it in some engine oil. This was because I could remove more material afterwards if it warped. Once I finished with the flap disc, I then moved on to making the handle. To do this, I used an angle grinder rasp disc to grind the basic shape and then cut the piece from the stock of beech. After cutting the handle from the stock, I then used the angle grinder belt sander from my last video to uh, refine the shape of the handle. I accidentally deleted this footage, so you'll just have to use your imagination. Once I'd finished with the handle, I then moved on to polishing the eel. To do this, I just used some cheap sharpening stones of varying grits from uh, 120 to 2000 grit. I used a marker pen just to basically show me where I'd ground on the eel so I could go over and polish every area of it and flan it out. I also used glass cleaner to keep the stones lubricated. After finishing with the stones, I then used a Dremel with a cotton mop and some 3M abrasive compound just to polish the oil before it went into the acid. After finishing the polishing, I then realised I hadn't cut a tang into the awl, so I did this and I also cut a guard for the handle. I forgot to film this, but you can see all the pieces here. This is just me gluing the Mokume Gane guard to the awl handle, and then I'll grind it more later. I used a tiny bit of acrylic paint, less than I put on the paper, and mixed it with some epoxy.
There was a reason why I mixed up more epoxy than I needed, and that was just to make sure that adding the acrylic didn't upset the epoxy and make it set any less hard. I then clamped the two pieces together and let it cure. After it cured, I then went on to the belt sander again and just refined the shape to the final fit. The next step was to acid etch the blade. Now I did this in a mixture of ferric chloride and water and I did two 15 minute cycles. I then used a blowtorch to burn the handle. Whilst trying the handle, I was very careful not to heat up the Makume Gane guard. This would cause the epoxy to decay and it would pop off. I then coffee etched the blade. I did this in some cheap instant coffee for 24 hours. I've read a lot of stuff online about using cold water for a coffee etches, but I've always found that hot works better for me. I then used some beeswax furniture polish to treat the handle. I did several coats, letting it sit in between and then buffed it. I then used a bit of scrap linen until I had a nice luster on the handle. Whilst buffing the handle I noticed that the wax had sat in some of the cracks so I used a jet lighter over these areas and then buffed it again. I then polished the Makume Gane guard using the stones again and the Dremel. After being really pleased with the results of the coffee etch, it was time to glue up. I mixed up some epoxy and used a syringe to put it in the handle. I used a piece of wet cloth to clean up the handle of any spilled epoxy. Clamping this up was a little awkward, but this worked all right. With the all finished, it was time to actually use it. I decided the first project would be to make a sheath for it. I cut off a section of this waxed leather I had, and then skived it down so it would fold nicely. I then used some Aline's leather glue to glue the pieces together. I then used a couple of lolly sticks to even out the pressure from the clamps across the whole way and to make sure that the clamps didn't mark the leather. I then used some plain white Ritza Tiger thread. You can buy this in small lengths on eBay and it usually comes with a couple of needles, perfect for small projects. I then threaded the needles and slipped the uh, remaining tail over the end of the needle to lock the thread onto the needle. Once the glue had finished curing, I then took the lollies off and used a ruler and a knife just to 
clean this edge up so that it can be finished. I then freehand cut the end of the sheath and then used my stitch groover to lay the groove for the stitches. I then used a stitching punch to mark where I would put the holes with the awl. I then used the awl to push the holes into the lever so that it could be stitched. I then hand saddle stitched the sheath using my left hand to create tension on the thread as I pushed it through so that I could push the other thread through in the same place every time. To finish the stitching, I then back stitched one and took the needle out between the two sides of leather. I did this on both sides, tied a knot and then cut it as close as I could to the sheath. I then used a needle to poke the knot into the middle of the sheath. To finish the edges of the sheath I used some beeswax I had and a dremel with a burnisher attachment. Overall I gotta say I'm really pleased with how this came out. It feels great to use, looks cool and works perfectly. Now if you like the video guys just don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. Now if you want me to make something let me know and I'll give it a go. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.